Faraday's second law. Faraday's second law states that when the same quantity of electricity passes through different electrolytes, the mass of ions liberated at the respective electrodes are proportional to their chemical equivalents. Experiment Take three electrolytes, namely copper sulfate solution, silver nitrate solution, and zinc sulfate solution in different voltmeters. In all the three voltmeters, let the electrodes A and C be made of copper only. Before starting the experiment, determine the weights of the individual cathodes in each of the voltmeters. Adjust the rheostat to pass 1 ampere of current through ammeter. Since three voltmeters are in series, same current passes through all the respective electrolytes. Allow the current about 30 minutes. At the end, determine the final weight of the individual cathodes. The difference between the corresponding final and initial weights give the masses M1, M2 and M3 of copper, silver and zinc deposited on respective cathodes. Take the values of E1, E2 and E3 that is chemical equivalents of copper, silver and zinc. Now calculate the ratios of M1 by E1, M2 by E2 and M3 by E3. We will find the value of each of the ratio is same that is M1 by E1 is equal to M2 by E2 that is equal to M3 by E3 when Q is constant or M1 is to M2 is to M3 is equal to E1 is to E2 is to E3. This verifies the Faraday's second law of electrolysis.